This video will show you how to get best performance out of your PowerPod using Isaac software and the out and back calibration ride. After your PowerPod is connected to your computer, start Isaac software. If this is the first time you have used Isaac software on your computer, then after it boots up, you'll be presented with an option for what's called the simple setup wizard. This is an easy way to put your PowerPod into out and back calibration mode. You have the option to run the full version of Isaac or to simply set up a device profile. We're going to take the simple choice. Once we do, you'll see a device setup wizard appear. If you're someone who has already installed and used Isaac software, you won't see the simple setup wizard when you first launch Isaac. However, you can get access to the same wizard by clicking device, setup device. After a few seconds, the setup wizard will appear. The wizard will have us enter the information into one of the four profiles. Right now, I'm on profile number one, but I'm going to put my out and back calibration information in profile number four, and I'm going to call it best accuracy. You, of course, can name your profile whatever you wish. I click on the next button, and now I go through the commands where I enter my information. When I've selected conditions I want, I click on next, and here, to set up the out and back ride, I'm going to select best accuracy. This will force PowerPod into the out and back calibration mode. I click on best accuracy, and after a few seconds, I'll get a confirming message that PowerPod has my best accuracy set. There is a brief summary of instructions for performing the out and back ride, also a quick start guide, but we're going to go outside and actually show you how to do this. The next step is to attach PowerPod to my mount. I've done this and I've inserted the GoPro screw, but now I'm going to rotate the mount so that the power pod is all the way forward and then with it in the forward position, tighten the screw very much so that afterwards power pod is stiff and cannot move on the bike. I've awakened all of the ant sensors on my bike, so the next step is to click the power pod button and then to press it and hold it for four seconds it will go into pairing mode, which is green. It is searching for the sensors on the bicycle. When it finds the separate cadence sensor on my left crank, it will flash red three times. And when it finds my speed sensor, it will show solid green. I finished the pairing process. So when I turn on my power pod, its light will flash for a moment and then turn solid yellow, indicating that it's ready to begin its out and back calibration ride. I'm using the Powerhouse app with my PowerPod BLE and you'll see the numbers appear on the Powerhouse screen as I begin the out and back calibration ride. After I've pedaled a few feet, the Powerhouse light begins to alternate between red and green. This means that it's ready to actually begin the ride. Now what I'm going to do is ride my bicycle to the place where I'm going to begin the calibration ride. I'm going to ride down the road for five minutes, turn around and ride back. To actually begin the calibration ride, I will click the button of the power pod, and when I do, it will start flashing yellow. This means it is now beginning to take data for the actual out and back ride. I get on my bike and start riding. As I ride my bike down the road, the power number will slowly rise. It begins at zero, and then slowly climbs up toward 50. Okay, we're at 25% of the entire way through, and if I look down here, I should see that my power pod light is still flashing yellow indicating that it's calibrating right now. As I approach the 50% mark, the number will switch from 49 to 50 and now at the 50 mark notice that it does not rise any above 50. In fact if I look down below at my power pod I'll see that the light is solid red. The stuck 50 and the red light both indicate that it's time to slow down and ride back. I stop I turn around, the light starts flashing yellow, indicating that it's on its return, and then I ride back. I'm now riding back on the same road that I used to come out. This okay, I'm just about back to my starting point, and once I am back at the starting point, power pod will read 100, and then the ride will be complete, and it will flip over to a display of actual wattage. Now I'm getting real watts out of my power pod, 
with best accuracy calibration for me, my bike, and my riding condition.